Welcome to Something Scary Live, and my hair looks really gross. Um, how's everyone doing today? Uh, today's theme, if you didn't know, is shadows. Um, and so I've got a couple creepy little stories about shadow figures, people seeing stuff. Um, and then hopefully you guys can share some of your stuff. I'm going to close this door real quick. Hang on. Okay. Hey guys, Puddle Videos, Reese Cup, Kids Garcia, Sans the Comic, ha, <laughs> Sans the Comic, that's cute, I like that. Jenna Lee, can you guys hear me? I never know if you can hear me. Um, what are you doing? Go to my desk. Oh my god. Hey, say hi to Elliot, everybody. <laughs> yeah, it worked too. He's gonna laugh at me. Um, sorry, I'm just pulling up the chat here real quick. Oh, thank you, Captain Penguino, for buying one of the pop sockets with my face. Um, cool. All right, guys. As always, we're going to start with a little riddle. Oh, there was a super chat. Oh, no. Oh, no. I always forget how to... Nope. Nope. Sorry. It went away. Something happened. We're off to a great start today. Um, all right, so I'm gonna tell you guys a little riddle, and then at the end of the stream, I'm gonna tell you the answer, but you guys are really smart and you always guess it anyways. All right, um, you ready? Okay. <clears throat> a man is found dead on a Sunday morning. His wife calls the police immediately. The police question the wife and the staff. The wife said she was asleep, the cook said he was cooking breakfast. The gardener said he, she was picking vegetables. The butler said he was cleaning the closet and the maid said she was getting the mail. The police immediately arrested the murderer. Who was the murderer? Okay. Whoa, someone just super chatted $500. What? Amanda's multiverse. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> I mean, thank you. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Guys, can everybody say hi to Amanda's Multiverse because she just gave us a bunch of money and that's cool. <laughs> um, Amanda, you can ask me to do something and I'll do it. That's, <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> I take that back. I should probably never say on the internet that you can make me do anything for money. <laughs> Um, well, thank you, Amanda. I'm just gonna make this stream about you. All right, guys. Uh, oh, we got some some people uh, guessing the. Nope, you guys are all wrong. Oh, nope, somebody's right. Cappuccino, see, you were correct. But you, the rest of you guys, have to wait until the end of the stream to find the answer. All right. You guys ready for your first story? Ugh, excuse me. Hang on, I need to drink some tea. I'm gassy. Um. Are you guys want me to repeat it? It's a short one. I'll repeat it. Mm. All right. A man is found dead on a Sunday morning. His wife calls the police immediately. The police question the wife and staff. The wife said she was asleep. The cook said he was cooking breakfast. The gardener said she was picking vegetables. The butler said he was cleaning the closet. And the maid said she was getting the mail. The police immediately arrested the murderer. Who was the murderer? Then who was the murderer? <laughs> <laughs> All right, first story of the day comes from Bria King. I hope you're watching right now. Hi, Bria. Um, all right, it's a short one. When I was 10, I was in the park with my mom and I saw a little girl shadow figure, so I followed it around. And I started to talk to her and I asked her what her name was and she said, my name is Emily. I asked her, how old, how old are you? She said, I'm 10 years old. So we started to talk and then I eventually asked her, what house does she live in? She said the name of my house. I was stunned. I knew I was hearing voices in the house. I didn't know it was her. Ah, what? Thanks, Bria. So I just realized now that that doesn't really fit in the theme. <laughs> uh, but it's like, a, yeah, she saw, oh, little girl shadow figure. I, I know I... I know what I'm doing. Okay. So that's really creepy. Thanks, Bria. 
Um, has anyone had a experience like that where they're like just talking to a kid and then they realize the kid is dead? <laughs> I have not. They've never, well, I mean, that I know of. How are we to know? Um, that's really cool. All right. Thanks, Brea. Um, who's next? All right. We got another story. This one comes from Abigail Marrera from Pomona, California. She is 15 years old. <laughs> this is her story. It started when I was 12 or 11. My younger sister, Adriana, at the time was eight. We were in the living room watching a show on TV and my grandmother was in the kitchen. It was between seven or 8 p.m. And my grandmother asked me and my sister if we were knocking on the kitchen window. But I said, no, we weren't. But as soon as she was about to say something, we all heard a frustrated knocking on all the windows from the kitchen and living room. <laughs> they were all knocking and banging at the same time and my grandmother quickly opened the curtains and she saw something that she wouldn't forget. She saw a shadow figure with no face, just an outline of a body of some kind of man or woman. She yelled at it and said, leave me and my family alone. And the figure put out his hand and rang a little bell and disappeared. My mom got home from work. My grandmother told my mom everything and she grabbed a bottle of holy water and she recited prayers and we haven't heard of it since. What? That's creepy. Um, I like how this ghost had a, a little bell that it rang and then it disappeared. <laughs> I've never heard of that. That's interesting. That's different. Um, he's just trying to switch it up, you know? <laughs> um, have you guys ever seen a ghost with a bell? <laughs> that's so random. I don't think I've ever heard of that being a thing. Um, cool. All right, well, thank you, Abigail, for sharing your story. Hope you're watching. All right. Story number three. This one comes from CJ Fix. I don't know how to say that. When I was a young kid, I had a wild imagination. I'm now 18 years old, but still feel, see, and hear this strange, mysterious figure. I've had a couple guesses of what it could be. Most recent guess is my young imagination still portraying my mom as that shadow. My mother left when I was about three and I tried to reach out to her about four years ago, but she was in the mindset of wanting nothing to do with her kids. That's sad. But after that, the shadowy figure got worse and darker. It is always around. I can catch it out of the corner of my eye or just looking for a long period of time or as I'm walking to classes at school, it could be anywhere, anytime, honestly. When it is close, it is very cold, frigid almost. And hearing this thing, my given birth name is Courtney, but nobody calls me that. It's only Court or CJ. This figure calls me by my given birth name and says some scary shit. Whoa, what kind of stuff does it say, CJ? I want to know. <laughs> Um, that's really crazy. Um, so CJ seems to think that this mysterious figure is kind of just like a, like the, what do you call it? What's, what's it called? Manifestation of, uh, their mom. Oh, that's crazy. That's really creepy and sad. But her, but the mom's not dead. I don't know. I have a lot of questions, CJ. <laughs> But thank you for sharing your story. All right, guys, this one comes, next story comes from Laura the Bunny. When I was about five, we had gotten our new house and for about three years, I would always say, mommy, can you leave the door open so my friend can peek on us? <laughs> what? <laughs> the reason why I would say this is because every night I would always see a shadow figure in the doorway and called it my friend. The weird thing about it was me and my mom were always alone with the job, with the job, always alone. Oh, with the job my dad had at the time. My mom would freak out about it. And when we eventually moved out of that house, we learned that there was a spirit highway underneath our house and that a couple that had lived there had died from unknown causes. I like how she calls it a spirit highway. Like it's just this little, <laughs> It's just a little highway where, like, all the ghosts travel. That's, um, a thing. That's kind of cool. Thanks, Laura the Bunny. 
Um, I'm actually reading a really interesting book right now, if any of you guys care. It's called The Ghost Studies, and it's the psychologist, I forget his name, but he um, basically, ex he, he kind of like offers a bunch of different ways to look at like explanations for the paranormal, but like based in science. And that's what's like really cool about it. Cause it's like, um, it's really interesting. You should look it up and listen to it on audiobook and it's cool. Anyways, um, are you guys ready for, for the answer to the riddle? I think some of you guys got it, but this is something you do not. Okay, where is it? All right, I'm gonna read the riddle again for you guys. A man is found dead on a Sunday morning. His wife calls the police immediately. The police question the wife and staff. The wife said she was asleep. The cook said he was cooking breakfast. The gardener said she was picking vegetables. The butler said he was cleaning the closet and the maid said she was getting the mail. The police immediately arrested the murderer. Who was murderer? I'll give you a sec. It I was, guess. yeah. It was the maid, because there's no mail on Sunday. Yay, ding, ding, ding. Elliot got it, that is correct. There's no mail on Sunday. Um, and that's that. <laughs> I mean, what if, you know, sometimes you forget to check the mail on Saturday and then you check it on Sunday. That doesn't mean she's a murderer. It doesn't mean she forgot. Lock her up. Lock her up. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, guys, uh, if you want to have your story read or on the stream or have me make an episode out of it, <laughs> um, send me an email. It is something scary at snarls.com in the subject line. Please don't write scary story. Please write some sort of description of what it is because it makes it easier for me when I'm like looking for looking for stories with themes and such. Um, I'm not entirely sure what next week's, uh, stream, stream theme, stream, stream theme will be, but, um, right now I have a lot of stories submitted that were kind of like related to schools and buses. So if you have any like stories about schools or buses, go ahead and send that to me and put, put that, put that in the subject line. Um, and what else? Yeah. If you have any story suggestions, like creepypastas you like, urban legends you like, um, any ideas for future volumes of something scary, go ahead and email that to me too. And that's fine. Um, or just like email me and say hi. I don't know. Um, okay, cool. Make sure you subscribe to Snarl. Put the bell for notifications. Um, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter at Awkward Sapphire. Um, I also just like recently made a Facebook page. Um, if you wanted that, but whatever. And it's just, I forget. Wow. I don't even remember the you are out for my Facebook page. Uh, okay. Um, I'll say hi to some of you guys before I leave. Hey, Zero Gravity, Circus Freak, Monster High, Monster High. Oh, Monster High. Monster High is cute. Monster High lovers, uh, Two Wing Wolf, Weird Girl, Kyle Gower. This girl's doesn't he? Uh, Kaylee Morris, Floor Christina Inigrant, Lily White, Hannah Van Cleave, Cup the Hero. All right, guys, I have to leave now. Um, I hope you have a great Wednesday um, and all your dreams come true. Okay, bye.